If the world is in the fast lane, then this is the slow lane, the very slow lane. These are students of Tai Chi, the ancient Chinese mix of meditation and martial arts. Trisha Yu has been guiding students through the discipline's intricate moves for 14 years. Regardless of the student's skill level, they all practice the same form or series of movements that are so detailed that it takes years to learn correctly. And learning Tai Chi is almost like learning a language. It's sequential. You learn a move and then you practice that and learn another move. While it may not look like work, the discipline's demands for precise movements can tax a student's concentration and muscles. This has come as a surprise to more than a few novice. They think, this is really mellow. All I have to do is kind of wave my arms around and take little steps and this will be my excuse for exercise. And usually after about the third or fourth week, I begin to find it, it's a whole lot of exercise. Okay, feel the line of your spine right down to the tailbone, aiming directly into the ground. Students of Tai Chi let their legs do most of the work, while their upper bodies seem to float with the faintest of effort. It can get to be very frustrating when you can't do something that looks easy, but yet it's, it's so difficult to do and will take probably years and years to even come close to perfecting. Don't twist. Shoulders are lined up over the hips. The slow, graceful movements and the student's unwavering concentration can be very meditative. I used to do yoga, and I'd get pretty bored just sitting in one posture, and to me, Tai Chi is like a, a moving yoga. Relax the fist. Admittedly, Tai Chi is a little more calm than a lot of people can take, but for some, a slow lane in the fast track 80s suits them just fine. Gary Nelson for Sidelights.